Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the React Intermediate series. In this episode right here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna import the alert component that we wrote in the React Foundation series, and we're gonna put it in our current project, our new cleaned up, you know, completely production ready, super nice code uh, project uh, in the React Intermediate. And what we wanna accomplish is basically, we're going to probably have to fix up the alert component a little bit because it was written for the React Foundation and you know when you're learning, sometimes you all can't always write the cleanest code. Um, so, and then basically what we're gonna do is on an error, uh, we're gonna basically render the error message using the alert component. Um, so yeah, uh, and basically this is a free episode. So if you're watching this on YouTube, check out our website. Um, you know, we have, you know, it's much more cohesive viewing experience. You'll see everything in the right playlist. You can sort the playlist by um, ascending, descending, or whatever it is that you, you find uh, helpful. Uh, and you can also see code examples, which is also extremely helpful. Uh, and even for the episodes that you don't have access to, you can still see the code examples. But if you wanna watch the videos, you have to become a member for nine bucks a month. And uh, yeah, and to get access to all of our content. So with that, let's hop right in and get started. Uh, let's take a look at the code we have. This is the component right here that we're going to import. So a lot of things are going to change because, you know, obviously we're using a different uh, styling engine as well. We're not using, we don't need, probably won't even need this class names anymore. Uh, so this is in the invoice UI. This is the project we created um, using the React Foundation. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this guy over. So I'm going to go into the, this is, so this is the new project over here. Then I'm going to create a folder called alert and create an index file and paste everything into here. And basically all we want to do is, uh, so this is styles alert and then styles uh, message type. Um, all right, so before we do anything, let me, uh, let's just render the component and see what happens. Uh, let me copy everything over first. So I'm gonna go into the index and copy this code over here and then head over into here and call index.sass and paste that in like that. All right, so I'm sure some things are gonna break, so I'm gonna remove all the semicolons because we just don't need them anymore. All right, yep, that looks good. So let's render this out and see what happens. Uh, so I'm gonna head over into the author, uh, sorry, the sign in page so pages sign in index over here uh this by the way there was a, a mistake uh so we need a comma over here to make the error go away all right so yeah that looks good so right now we just need to import the uh, component so import um alert from components alert and that should be good. And let's try it out. So I'm gonna head over here and do alert. And basically, I think we need to pass in some kind of message. Yeah, message.body here. And I think here we made it support, um, you know, like a bunch of like DL, DT, because I think we were getting the error from our server, but so things are gonna be slightly different. We're just gonna render the message out uh, directly. Uh, so yeah, so if there's no message, return null. So we need to pass in a message if we wanna see anything. Uh, we also need to pass in a message type. So th the message should have um, a body and a type. So it's it, we can even just pass in an object. So here I'm I'm gonna clean up this code a little bit. We don't I don't think we need all of this stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna do just a message dot body, uh, and then basically here uh, we'll see what we have. I think we, we might actually be even good to go. Uh, so okay, so here I'm gonna head over into the sign in page, and then basically here we have the message props, and here the body. So for the body, we actually already have this error uh, from the internationalization episode that we did in the previous one. Uh, so all we have to do is just do a T error and the type error. So uh, the type will be used, uh, just to recall a little bit, 
um, the type will be used as the style name. And here we have an error, which means it's going to show up red. So uh, if I render this page right now, because we pass in a message with a body and error and all that stuff, um, it should be, it should actually display, uh, even if we are not, like, even if we're, we're doing fine, if we're not at have, if we don't, even if we don't have any errors. All right, so fr is not defined. So that's probably because I removed fr. So I'm going to remove that from there as well, like that, and then do a reload. So here we go. We have this invalid email or password alert box now. Um, but the question, the question here is, do we want to have it show inside of this box or at the top of the page? So um, let's take a look at the auth page and see what happens. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at the page auth. Uh, and basically, uh, you know, what's what's going on is we're, we're rendering the alert inside of here. Um, and maybe we want to render it up here. So perhaps what we can do is do something like this, this.props.top. Yeah, I guess that will work. This.props.top. Yeah, it even rhymes. Okay. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll keep that. And then, so what we'll do is um, I'm going to pass the alert as a top of the auth. So alert. So there you go. Top. And then, yeah. So the alert is going to go. So actually, I'm just do const alert equals. I think that's a little bit cleaner. And then we're going to do alert over there. Yeah. So if I do a render, so so that that's much better. I mean, it's coming from the top of the page. It actually looks better, uh, feels better. Uh, so basically, all we have to do now is actually make it respond. So if I click this, it doesn't go away as well. Uh, we need to do kind of like the dismiss uh, message for that as well. Um, so yeah, let's basically now. Um, I guess you know we kind of need to render the I guess we need to do the set message and then uh, and then pass the message in uh, into here uh, you know and basically if the message is null it'll it'll not show all right so we have this auth object and the auth object actually has access to the message so um, what we can actually do is we can do something like this so const message equals um, this dot props dot off and then what's going to happen here is that the first time round uh, when the message goes inside a year uh, message it's actually not going to show anything and, and there you go because the message is actually empty so if I go uh, const console dot log message if I go to inspect and go to the console we'll see that the message is null. And that's because, you know, in by default, Fronto Connect makes the message null. So that's why we had the this.set message. Um, so over here, all we have to do now is auth.set message. And then uh, we were doing something like body t error and then type error, something like that. And so now we basically if we log in and type in the wrong password all right so we're getting some kind of error over here all right so we imported our alert component over and it works just fine but we probably need to do a little bit of a fix up uh, and we tried that and what we ended up hitting was an error regarding the response that we're getting from the server that's because you know frontal connects expect expects a, a valid JSON response, but our server was just returning an empty body. So, um, you know, that's why the error was, uh, was was showing up. So what we're gonna be doing is in the next episode, we're gonna hop over to our Rails API, fix up our code for, you know, responding with an error with a proper JSON response. That should kind of like take care of the issue with Fronto Connect. And then uh, once that's done, then what we'll do is we will hop right back in here and complete our uh, error handling. All right, guys. So with that, I want to wrap up this episode. This is a free episode. Uh, and if you are not a member, become a member, you get access to all of our content. Check out our stuff on our site. You'll see like uh, code examples and, uh, and uh, you know, playlist and, you know, proper actual order of the content. 
uh, so it's much easier to, to experience everything. Uh, so with that, I want to wrap up this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one.